Hey guys, Maximum Super 55 here, and today we're going to take a look at my custom Zeta Prime. So this guy is in foot mode right now. I just want to quickly show off the foot mode because I'm not going to be doing like a combined mode of them. There's Instagram posts of the combined Prime combiner thing. And I did just do a video on my Cronus, who also showed the Prime combiner. And um, as you can see, a lot of pieces aren't actually painted, but oh well. Again, older custom has less effort put into it. But yeah, this is based or just used off the, this is uh, using the uh, Combiner Wars drag strip mold. I did snip off the front ends to make it just a little bit like different to a Formula One vehicle. Um, no paint chipping again. Oh no. And I did base the color scheme off, I think it was Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, I think, or War for Cybertron, sorry. Um, War, War and Fall, because he's in both games. Um, as you can see, the paint is very sloppy <laughs> over there. But for the paint I did use, uh, I'll go find them now. So the blue is spray painted blue, so I can't show you the blue, unfortunately. But everything else, so orange is just to me are orange. Uh, the spoiler part here is made from chrome silver. And all the like silver here, 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 and like over here and stuff is actually made out of titanium silver. So those are the paints I used to make this guy. And yeah, alt mode is fairly okay. Uh, nothing much to go on except it doesn't look too good. <laughs> but uh, we'll get into transformation, I guess. So yeah. Um, again, fairly simple custom, because it's combinables, everything was simple back then. Uh, uh, oh yeah, another thing, I did snip off um, these parts, I think these, there's some like, parts go up here, and like curvy parts, I snipped those off too, to make it less like the other custom that uses the same mold for this guy. So yeah, we're taking them. Uh, the reason he, he has Autobot symbols is because he was... You know, in like I based it off the Fort Wolf Cybertron, which Autobots did exist back then. So, yeah. Um, another note: I did use this paint for the eyes, which I completely forgot about because I never transformed this guy. Oh, and there's red. Where's the red? <laughs> there's red details. As you can tell, I don't transform these, especially because I keep them in combined mode. But yeah. So here is a Fall of Cybertron, Warp of Cybertron, Zeta Prime. Uh, I didn't change the head because this head is ridiculously hard to get off. So I just kept it as is. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of grey paint chips here. Uh, chrome silver on the crotch, chrome silver here, chrome silver. Yeah, some titanium silver. Or maybe this wasn't titanium silver. It looks like um, a certain type of gold. I might be wrong. This is a very old custom. It's It's hard to remember. It does look like a different type of gold. I think it was um, titanium gold. Could be wrong, but yeah, this guy is. You know, he looks he he looks fine-ish. Uh, but yeah, he is just a very a very simple boy, and I keep him in combined mode all the time. So size comparison, we'll get my Cronus in here, my previous review. And then we will get Soundwave. So yeah. So this is not the only one I will be reviewing. Here is the other mold that I use. Because they're the same mold. So I may as well just, you know, copy them. So this is my custom Nexus Prime. Now, I know what you're thinking. And I need to explain. So let's take Zeta Prime out real quickly. And then let's look at your boy. So here he is in foot mode. We will quickly transform him into his vehicle mode or what's left of it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to use the front part of Nexus for a custom and it just went all wrong. And yeah, I, I just, yeah, I couldn't retouch it because it, it was too modified. So this is what Nexus now looks like. Oh, well, um, there, here's a picture of what it originally looked like. But yeah, this is now just Nexus, so 
Yay, so we'll get the transformation and we will talk about why I chose this mold. Now this is, now the reason I chose this mold is simply because I wanted all my primes to combine, or at least a few to combine into a, like a prime combiner. Because, well, we know that Nexus Prime is a combiner himself. He is the first combiner. But as you can maybe see by the color choices, um, he actually just is painted to look like a combiner. As you can see, he is very asymmetrical, and that's to give the impression that all his limbs are different vehicles. So I'm pretty sure there's like a tank, a jet, um, two or two jets, a tank, and something else. I think it's a helicopter. So I did paint like I think this is supposed to be the tank. So like it's all red with like the barrel being silver. As you can see, there's like blue gunmetal and stuff. Uh, these kept chipping, so I just left them white. And as you can see, the Mirage head, I did try to give him like a battle mask, which went horribly wrong. But yeah. But yeah, uh, he looks kind of, he looks kind of plain now without the uh, like giant backpack thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so for paint, I used majority of it was to me a red. A lot of the silver was chrome silver. And the hand and the back of the car, which you can't see anymore, is made out of gunmetal. And the rest of like the different shades of blue, like the lighter blue down here and lighter blue here, were made of this blue. A lot of my older customs use the same paints because I didn't expand much on paints, but yeah. Um, and the re the rest of the blue, like the core here and some blue on like the legs and stuff were just Mirage's original uh, design. So, oh yes, I didn't tell you who I based off. I based off Combiner Wars Mirage is the mold I use. I based off Combiner Wars Mirage, which is sort of, you can tell. <laughs> uh, but the actual basis art is is based off the original Botcon exclusive, uh, the, the the Energon looking guy. So that's where I've got all these parts from. Uh, I know a lot of people actually complain on my Instagram that this is a Nexus, he's not a combiner. Well, look who's laughing now, because in Transformers 1, he's actually not a combiner. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so here is size comparison. We'll just do it with his mold mate. And we'll get in your boy Soundwave. And for another one, we will do a different one, which will be Megatron. And as you can see, he's very big. But uh, considering we're talking about Nexus, shall we get someone else? So considering I have Nexus here, here is my next, <laughs> next Nexus custom. He's not finished, but he's sort of painted. So this is my Blocky's Transformers 1 Nexus Prime. And... As you can see, they are very different in color scheme wise. Um, but yeah, they sort of share like the blues and stuff and the reds. But other than that, that was my double review because they're the same mold of Zeta Prime and Nexus Prime. So I'll see you all later in the next video. Um, bye bye.